Good morning, boss. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. It's early, right? Pretty early. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, we had to run some errands. Almost 11. Yeah, I had to go to the dump. I had to make sure all our new seedlings were watered that we had bought. And I had to go, we had to go get a load of mulch. We yes. went to the mulch yard first. So we're here to finish up this mulch job today that I started two days ago. We didn't make it back yesterday because we had to mow. Yeah. Um, and then after we're done this, I think we're gonna go mow six yards and then finish the night out on the top of the mountain with the spading of beds, I think, right? Mm-hmm. So, and sounds then we'll like be- Sounds like a plan. Yeah, sounds like a plan, right? Yeah. So we'll get out and do this real quick mm -hmm. and we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay. I should have brought my real tripod. Okay. I know you're going to think this is funny, but what? I'm not going to over dump this way. No, you do mulch however way you want to do mulch. You are the boss. Okay guys, we're back here with another yard and a half of mulch. Rachel's spreading. Ooh, I'm gonna come down here. I don't have my tripod, so I'm probably not gonna record, but a little bit of this. I gotta rake the rest of this out, clean out these weeds. Then I have to go down there and spade along the house. So there's a bed like that on this side, and then on the other side, and that's it. So let's go ahead and get this done. I'll show you some progress. Ooh, that's the easiest way to do mulch, guys. Get rid of them wheelbarrows. You don't have to push a mulch bag, um, a wheelbarrow back up the hill. Easy to carry a tarp back up. And with me, I'm carrying as much pie on as you would with a wheelbarrow on this small little tarp. Unless you have a big wheelbarrow. But then if there's two of you pulling, I'm sure you could pull enough mulch to do this whole side on one move instead of like four or five wheelbarrows. So just think about it. We were, we were led on on that little trick, that little idea. And now look, I'm almost done this side and I've only been over here for 15 minutes.
So I'm just about done that. You guys seen I spaded it, brought the mulch down here and everything. I got a little bit more when I do the back that I have to do over here. But I think I'm gonna go ahead on the other side first. And then in the back, all I have is this little piece here and the same thing on the other side. So let's go see if Rachel needs more mulch. Okay guys, we're not done this one. I'm gonna walk you through real quick. We're done the front and almost both sides. We're gonna come back tomorrow morning and finish. There's just a little bit in the back. But here's the after of all this. Not bad, right? Rachel's blowing off. Now, for everybody with a hard pruning, you see this thing down here? We cut this two years ago, way back, to where it was just nubs, and this is what it is now. Now these do need fertilizer. But all down here is done. Rachel mulched all down here. And then, I don't wanna walk, let me see if I can step on here. I'll just go down around, I messed up her mulch. And then you guys seen this bed was done. So the only thing we gotta finish is the back. But it's long, guys. I gotta spray this still. Nice. Okay. There you go. Another job well done. Well, we're not done. Like I said, we'll come back tomorrow morning. We're gonna go mow something. Look at that beautiful weeping um, red bud. So here's the next one, guys. I'm weed eating, and then I gotta mow this hill. I can get you an after. Maybe from down that end, because that end shows a little better stripes. Rachel's knocking that out with the grass. Nice and clean. This is the second mow of the season for this one. Okay, I'm gonna finish weed eating this hill, then I gotta mow this. Not too bad. This used to be all weeds. It's starting to slowly fill in every time we aerate and seed it every year. It's tough, this one, because it's a hill. Look how steep it is. I'm holding it. That's how steep it is. So, okay, off to the next one. go we are done this one Rachel's blowing off and we'll be off to the next I think one more I don't know we'll say maybe she'll want to hit two that more. has to be the longest one of the year so far right yeah it really is which is weird because this one didn't really this is a two-week account and even when we come here at like 15, 16, 17 days, it's not out of yeah. control. Wow, this is long now, man. You dropped the ball on this one. Yeah. Don't go get the sticks, man. You might get lost in there. I have to get the sticks. Be careful. That's like a you know, there's wild, uh, rabid rabbits that well, run around and here. Plus, I'll be able to check for bunny. So. Yeah, the boss is known for running them things over. Right? She's killed a few. I'm telling you, you're gonna get attacked in there. If she disappears, guys. I know. The back's probably long too, though. Not the mailbox now. Or the 
I'm fitting. Not bad. Somebody needs to sharpen those blades. I am this weekend, guys. There we go, guys. Not too bad. It only took us like 35 minutes to do everything. Okay, guys, so my hair is funky again. But check out my new hat the boss got me. Yeah. Go oh, Pirates. you still have the sticker on it. Yeah. Go Pirates. Um, but we didn't get done everything. We're not going to go back out um, and do that other one. I'm going to rest a little bit tonight and just probably water some plants and uh my knee's been bothering me if you guys haven't noticed in the video mm. um but it's fine i'll be good and yeah i'm gonna fix the valky people say the valky fix i am i gotta get a it's a big c clip yeah i tried to get it at um uh what was it ace and the biggest one they had was a one inch and i think i need bigger than that so i think i'm gonna have to take it off of there and go to an auto parts store and see if they have one just like it Got it. And then I should be able to use my Velky again. But I, walking isn't what bothers my knee. It's when I sit and stop. And yeah, and I, I almost want to say because I don't know if you guys have noticed or if you ride a Velky. The Velky goes back and forth wobbles. a little. Yeah, wobbles. Um, so I think that that would be harder on your knees. Yeah. So I think sometimes walk, and then honestly, sometimes walking behind things, you can um. Make your stripes better, cut the lawn cleaner. I don't. I can get in tighter spots a little bit better than when I have the Valky on. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot more walking, but we're still knocking out lawns in what 20, 23 minutes, even with me walking some of them. And yeah, I mean, but, like, I mean, Rachel mows most of them. Yeah, I do mow most of them, and I do feel bad with him trimming. The other day, I was. Oh, I love trimming. I know you do. You get in a listen, trimming. The key to trimming is get in a rhythm. Like, just don't go out there, blah, blah, trim. You have to have a rhythm when you're going back and forth. And that's how I do it. That's how I, things are smoother. Yeah. To be honest with you, it is almost like an art if you want to do a nice job. I, you know, mowing and landscaping, anybody can do it. Mm -hmm. But if you truly have an art and a passion for it and you can um, learn to be artistic with things but you just absolutely. gotta learn you gotta learn nobody ever taught me how to uh, wrong somebody taught me how to just make a straight line in a bed with a spade and everything back in the day way back in the day before i even did lawn care um but nobody taught me all my curves and stuff that i do yeah um, it's just well you have a very artistic eye Carl has even more, it comes very natural to him because he has a very artistic eye. But if you don't, then you can still teach yourself. And it is that. just, yeah. yeah, you just have to keep practicing, keep practicing. Little and, tricks and tips and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like I said, when you, with spading beds, you relook at your line. I know you spaded, I know you drew that line, line, but go back and look at it. And if you have a curve that has a little dip in it, that little dip makes a difference to the eye. 
die when you're looking at new flower beds. It will. It just doesn't flow like it should. Um, so, yeah. I mean, we enjoy what we One day, I guess I'll do it. I don't know how to do a video on how I weed eat. I'm different. I weed eat backwards. And, and weed eating backwards, it's not awkward to me. I'm very fast. As fast as I... I'm actually faster doing things backwards with the weed eater than I am going forward sometimes. You know what I think? I think that everybody has their own way, their most comfortable way, and the way that it turns out the best. So mm -hmm. I say, do you. Yeah, do you, guys. I mean, just, yeah, you can pick up little tips and tidbits when you're watching people. But honestly, it's just getting down with it, with the trimmer or with whatever you're doing and just doing it over and over and over again. Do it what it works for you. Trick to edging sidewalks with the trimmer. Don't go full speed on them on them edges. I half throttle my edges so the string's not spinning at full speed and it kind of digs in evenly into the um into the groove where the sidewalk and the grass is. Explain it better so because... when you're trimming against fences and stuff like that, some people will go um say that some people will go from right to left trimming fences, buildings and stuff. Others will go from left to, uh, from right to left, or left to right versus first, vice versa. Mm -hmm. I, when I'm doing buildings, fences, and stuff, I go from the left and I go all the way down on the right. And the reason I do that is I don't just run a straight line and keep walking. I kind of, like I said, rhythm back and forth on the grass and feathering it. And going that way, I don't leave much scraps on the lawn, even after Rachel's cut, cut even after Rachel cut it. Going the other way, if I were to go from right to left, what it does is it pulls all that stuff and pulls it out back into the lawn and you don't get to go back over it and, and hit it again and make it nice. Right. Well, when I'm edging sidewalks, my trimmer head, I think it spins like this. Mm -hmm. So when I'm going backwards the edge actually goes into the sidewalk right so it goes down and in instead of the other way where if the edge is going the other way and i'm going the other it, it's kind of pulling that way right. i don't know if you guys it's have, like fighting it's against like the force so much no it's right? like actually you're thinking the other way it's like if i were to take my string line and edge walking forward uh-huh you can do it okay but what happens is the string kind of pulls you it kind of goes and it goes off wonky to me got it now, all right so me, that's why you do going backwards the string has tension going into the ground and it cuts it a lot smoother so than, you want the tension yeah i want it to cut you want the, the tension okay. i'm gonna have to do a video explaining so it, again I do do it different everybody's different i mean maybe some don't like the tension maybe some do but same yeah. thing with going with pre-edged beds already, going in the flower bed. I go right to left and I walk forward doing it that way. Yeah. It, it's I do things different uh, if you guys watch me, but and it's he just does all also rhythm. He also does bevel the edges, which if you guys have noticed, um, yeah. where he just tilts it a little bit and bevels it and... It makes a difference. It gives it that smoother look. Yeah, I like it. Our clients obviously like it. Um, you know, and again, everybody is different. Some people don't like beveled edges. Some people do. So so hopefully you like that little rant at the end of the video of us talking about edges yeah. and stuff like that. I'm yeah. not sure if I got the chicken in this video. She was running around here. but Yeah, I saw her underneath the shrub today. So. But, but we appreciate you guys watching. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy, guys. Or at least try. Have a good Have night. Good night.